Today I'm going to see if I can reduce a blood sugar spike by eating these foods in a very specific order. This is called the food order method and yesterday I did a benchmark test to see how eating these foods in the wrong order can affect my blood sugar and I tagged that video in the description. Today I'm going to do the exact same test with the exact same amount of food only this time I'm going to eat them using the popular food order method to try and minimize a blood sugar spike. So today I'm going to eat the high fiber broccoli first, then the high fat avocado, then the high protein tuna, and then I'm going to finish with the rice. These are starchy carbohydrates. I'm really curious to see if this is actually going to work. Here goes. All right, it's been several hours. Before we look at today's results, let's have a look at yesterday's results when I ate the food in the wrong order. And you can see here I had an elevation in my blood sugar by 33 milligrams. Now let's have a look at today's results here and you can see here it peaked out at an elevation of only 14 milligrams. So that is less than half of the spike that I had yesterday. So for me it's quite obvious that this food order method really works and that's good news because it gives me a little bit more control over my blood sugar. So if you want to follow the food order method Here's the sequence. Eat your high fiber vegetables first. Remember, these are not starchy vegetables. These are high fiber above ground vegetables. Next, eat your fats and proteins and finish up with the starchy foods like rice, potatoes, or anything of that nature. And remember, if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, your results may vary, so always check your sugar. Stay tuned for more.